Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Elden Ring. Last time we left off, we explored a bunch of places, specifically underground. We stopped here at the Great Waterfall Crest. I don't think I want to follow up on that anymore today. Uh, I think what I want to do is more over in this area. So, we finished off the Ancestral Woods, I believe. I believe I finished off the Aqueduct... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's D doing over here? Maybe I didn't finish off the aqueduct? Hold the phone. Let me let me go back over there and look around. If D's over there, I probably want to go check this out. Whoa. It says, like, this is D. What? <laughs> You're not D. Unless you are? Oh my god. Wait, <laughs> what? I didn't actually pick up on who you were when I came here last time, because I didn't check the map. I thought you were just a random person, and you're not in your normal attire. Did you go nuts? What, what in the world is going on here? Golden centipede. Uh... Weird. I think I explored most of the stuff over here. I just wanted to check that out because, uh, that was a little crazy. Uh, so we checked that out. Yeah, that's, that's D. But it says Beholder of Death. Was that, was that D's name back at the, uh, table over here? Oh my god, you're gone. Wait, so is that actually D? Did D go somewhere and go, and, like, go nuts? It looks like I maybe moved up a state of his, uh, quest, if I had to guess. But, but wait, no, you before you were called D Hunter of Death, right? Not Beholder? But now you're a Beholder of Death. Weird, but you're still D, maybe it's a different D? Oh my god, that door is open now. Okay, new stuff's happening. Oh my god, the deathbed companion is gone. Oh my god, stuff's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe getting into the coffin advanced a bunch of quests. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello? Deathbed companion? Oh, is that D? I think that's D. Yup, you were taken over by whatever this stuff is. The same stuff that got Rogier, and that's why you're over here. Well, let's, let's talk first. Would be rude to just pick up your stuff. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well. Though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via. Deathbed companion. Hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our lord will rise. The lord of the many and the meek. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that you side with the death people. Well, I'm gonna be honest, uh, D was, uh, very, um, faithy and everything, and I don't know, I, I wasn't always into, into D, so, I mean, I feel bad that I got you killed, basically, but, um, I don't know, I wasn't really siding with you or anything, um, so, whatever. A D's bell bearing, twinned helm, armor, gauntlets, and greaves. This really reminds me of Lautrec's set. Specifically because it looks like you're being hugged. Okay, so what- So when I gave D the dagger... I- I thought D was going to do something bad with the dagger, but no, apparently it was going to get him murdered. Alright, well let's look at this here. Someone in the comments mentioned that D may be a fundamentalist. Um, which we have learned a little bit about now. So, let's go up here. And the fundamentalists definitely seem... Dedicated to preserving the Golden Order. Where Where is your helmet at? 
Am I missing it? I am missing it somewhere. Uh, there it is. Helm depicting entwined twins of gold and silver. The two known as D are inseparable twins. Okay, so we know where the other D is. They are two bodies in two minds, but one single soul. Not once did they stand together. Not one word did they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe since your your twin died, maybe that's why you're over there and can barely speak? Okay. And then several twins. There are two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Twin gauntlets. Twin boots. Okay, they all say the same thing. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I really expected D to possibly kill someone. Um, I need- I want to know more about those who live in death, because like I said, I'm not immediately against them. It seems to me like the Golden Order is looking at them and saying, like, they're unholy and unnatural. And that's why they don't like those who live in death. I mean, I know I've killed a lot of those who live in death, but... It was XP, man. But I, I would s possibly hear them out, um, given the chance. Okay, so yeah, that advanced some things, and we know where the other D is. Okay, and I can go give uh, D's bell bearing. I don't think I need to speak to Gideon again. Let's just do this. Uh, there we go. So what do we got? Litany of proper death in the Order's Blade. So the two things that we have, uh, yeah, used by hunters of those who live in death. So, one D beholds death and the other one hunts it. Wondering what the, uh, what the distinction is here. How are they different? I mean, it says they're the same people, basically. Uh, oops, that's the wrong- I always go over there. Uh, alright, so let's go see D, Beholder of Death again. I have found a quest line, and now I want to follow it. To its fruition. Uh, oh yeah. Can't ride Torrent here, just gotta huff it. Let's go, go, go. We got things to do. Side quests to complete. Yeah, I saw that character last time. I need to remember to check the map uh, when meeting characters like that, which it's... It's funny because it's like, I don't know, it... It seems like weirdly... I don't know, game breaky, Like that I can just know someone's name and know their significance just by looking at the map before they actually tell me something. Um, but whatever, it worked out. Here's your armor. Yes. Okay, that seems to have done nothing. I gave you your armor, but... Apparently you don't care that much. Is that what... D looks like under the armor? You look like Nier. Or whoever you named your main character in Nier. Okay, um, if I... Please just teleport me. Don't try to place a waypoint over it. Um... If I, like, reset the game's state... You've moved. Okay. That's what I, uh, wanted to check. So you are gone now. The question is, where did you go? I have no earthly idea where you would have went. The only thing I could possibly think of is back to the hold, or over here with Garonk. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, what else do we want to do? I was thinking maybe I could go here to Jarberg and talk to, um, this Jar person. And tell them, hey, I'm a sick badass. I beat the Knights of the Great Jar. Can I, can I become Jar? I don't know. They might let me. Oh. Hello again, cuz. I'm happy you came back. I have good tidings for you, cuz. Have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village? I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them. And they said you'd be very welcome. Oh, I already did that, I'm pretty sure, on first visit. Go on, Kaz. Who knows? Go on. Who knows? Okay, what flowers are you talking about? Okay, you're talking about these. 
poison blooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already raided all of your shit the last time I came here, right? Yeah, because you had this little garden. I just raided all of this my last time coming over here. Okay, well, thank you anyway. Sorry I'm destroying your fences and stuff, too. I just wanted to come back and see if, I don't know, anything had changed there. Okay, um, now what? What was I doing? So, we have ancestral woods, we have the aqueduct facing cliffs. Um, yeah, I think I've done everything over there. I think now we just need to go back to Knight's sacred ground and continue moving uh, through Necrom. So, let's just do that. It seems like a good call to me. There is a lot of you doofuses. Or there are a lot of you doofuses. Hanging out over here. Uh-huh. Okay, you're actually turning into something. Annoying. That is very, very obnoxious. Uh-huh. Eat it, dork. Owie. Come here, you. Swing! That wasn't even the target that I wanted to hit with that, but we got our kill. Celestial do. I, I haven't sinned. I'm good. I've led two people's deaths, but I've never actually killed someone myself, and that is a very important distinction. You know? Golden Rune 7. Love to see it. Uh, hi, dorks. There we are. You wary of giant. Oh, is that thing gonna turn into a giant? Okay. Good to know. Or are you talking about that? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, you're turning into a giant. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. That's fine. You don't really do that much damage, friend. Yeah. Eat that bleed damage. Huh? Big slashy. Okay, you got the stompy, but you're dead. Alright, see? No big deal. Very, very dead. Alright, and we can get some more nascent butterflies. And another silver tear husk. You'll love to see it, you do. Alright, so... What's going on down here? Nothing much. Gimme. Cool. Alright, what do we got? Those are some, uh... Big hands, big feet. You're massive. Okay. Try right and then ahead. Uh... Okay. That was left. I wanted to check that. Because they're telling me to go that way, I don't want to go that way. Uh, behold life. You don't have the right, you don't have the right. What? Did I just, like, skip forward? Still no lover. Legendary something. Finger Slayer Blade and a great ghost glove wart. That is important, right? That's probably, like, the titanite slab of those things. Shit, I didn't pay attention to where that dagger was. Was it actually a dagger? Um, no, I don't think it was. I think it was a key item. Or possibly a talisman, like we've seen some of the other ones be. Um, so let's look. Knife, knife, knife. Yeah, here it is. Finger Slayer Blade, hidden treasure of the eternal city of Necron. Hidden treasure of the eternal city of Necron, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. Cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm their greater will and its vassals. Ooh. Is this the item I need... Is this the item I need to, to potentially do an optional path where I overthrow the Golden Order? Like, gain the ability to harm God? Basically? This is the stake I need for the... For the, uh, vampire's heart? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, well that's neat. God, I have eight of these things now. 
Um, okay, so we did that. I did, so it specifically mentioned Nox. I remember I got something about them. Um, there was like a hood or something that I got somewhere that specifically talked about the Nox. I think it was like leggings or something, right? And it was like a, yeah, here we go. Uh, long ago, the Nox invoked the ire of the greater will and were banished deep underground. Now they live under a false night sky in internal anticipation of their liege, of the coming age of the stars and their lord of night. Like I said, I'm down for Lord of the Night. I like nighttime. And I really don't like these high and mighty Golden Order types. So if, whether it's the, the Lord of the Night is different from those who uh, live in death or whatever, whatever. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a path I'm willing to take. Door ahead. Liar. I knew it. All right. So is that everything here? I really thought I'd be able to make it across the way to to that place, but evidently not. Evidently not. So this was all that was here. I can still take this way gate. Let's see where this goes. Before we leave. I almost forgot about it, but I'm glad I walked around a little bit more. Oh, it just takes me back over here. Okay. Sort of boring. Well, so we've explored this place. I probably missed some stuff, but I don't know of anything immediately. And we got the important item that was there. I never saw Blythe here. I'm guessing the dagger that I just got is what Ronnie wants, though. So how about we go back and see Ronnie now and be like, Hey, we got the dagger to kill God. You know? We'll, uh, we'll do it. We will. We'll, we'll kill God together. We will attack and dethrone God. Huh! What? Has, has a hole always been there? I guess that just falls to the bottom floor. I guess I didn't properly bring the elevator back down last time I, uh, left. Okay, we're good, though. Let's go see if Ronnie's awake now. Possibly. I mean, I went to Necrom, Blythe was saying that was where... You know, the key to Ronnie's fate, or wherever, or whatever was. So... Hi? Try Pickle? Ah. Yes. It was thee, not Blythe, it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Okay, we kill in the Golden Order? I'm down. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. <laughs> Carrion inverted statue. I inverted, inverted. Wait, wait, wait. The 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 tower that we flip, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to invert the tower. My thanks for the wow. sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Well, considering how much the community loves you, I'm sure this is like the most popular path. What is it? I, too, am to depart on a journey. Okay. So you're going to depart on a journey to kill God or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go do my own thing. Okay, so I wonder where- where's Blythe now? Has Blythe just... exited the game? Potentially? <laughs> like, what's happening? Maybe we should go check in with, uh, EG as well? Possibly. Let's go see what's up with you, EG. Why don't we? Maybe you'll, maybe you'll be like, oh, you finished the quest that Ronnie gave you? Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. 
Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. Man, I feel bad because I feel like I've stolen Blythe's thunder a little bit. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. No, I don't want to lose my crew. Lady Rani along the now Okay. Lady, I pray. So I did get a little bit of an update from you. And lowers FP consumed by skills. Should I buy this off of you just so I have it, just in case? Sometime? It's 5,000 runes. Just just buy it, because it's unique. I don't know if you're about to disappear or what. It might be useful sometime in the future. I wonder if Celavis has anything to say as well. And we need to go over here to Rena's Rise, because... Um, you just said that's where Ronnie went. So, yeah, we need to go check that out as well. But yeah, I wanted to buy that talisman just because, I don't know, I may have a use for it in the future if I find a weapon skill that I, like, really like or something. And it would suck to just not have access to it. Although maybe, maybe when you do disappear or if something does happen to you, I can just go get your bell bearing and be good. It seems like that's what they're doing for the most part here, so you don't really lose access to anyone's inventory when they go. Aha, and you died. Gideon gotcha, huh? Gideon gotcha. Celavus's bell bearing, preceptor's big hat, long gown, gloves, and trousers. Oh wow, and I can even get your other thing in exchange for starlight shards. Yeah, Jar White Puppet. Uh, spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. Jar herring specialist and a manners and jars. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to use these things, right? What other possible thing could I use them for? There you go. I don't know why I got to give things up. You think I could just steal it off his corpse, but... Alright, we got to read what we got there. At some point, FromSoft just decided that all mages were required by law to have big hats. After Big Hat Logan. Large hat with the movements of the stars drawn on the inside of the brim. That is a incredibly cool hat. Uh, worn by the magic preceptors who serve the Carrion Royals. Increases mind to the detriment of stamina. Glenstone sorcerers are descendants of astrologers. A fact that the Carrions remain aware of, even if their fate has long been severed from the stars. Uh, long blue gown. I, I do like the movements of the stars drawn on it. Just da 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 Da, 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 da. Uh, you the carrying royals, black and, uh, discreet, black and discreet. Okay, cool. Um, should I go down here and see if there's anything weird going on with Celibus's puppet? I wonder if you, I, I, I was under the impression that Gideon was probably going to lead to the death of Celibus, which I was fine with because Celibus is kind of a giant asshole. Um, so I don't particularly mind that part. I'm getting a lot of people killed, though, I must say. I must say. I still don't trust Gideon, especially after he was able to pull off that shady shit, but, um, we will see. I still don't know what happened to this dragon. Were they actually just an illusion? They must have been, right? Where was this place at? Right here. There it is. Yeah, I placed the marker in the wrong spot, because it's actually on the spot itself, instead of uh, the entrance. Okay, bunch of bodies and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I can't actually attack it. I can't even get the examine prompt anymore. Okay, weird. So there's the- one of the puppets that I have, right there. Is there another puppet listed in here that's the other one I have? I think it might be you. 
Yeah, okay, so you can see the the ones that I have. I wonder if these were all puppets you could have gotten from Celibus if you didn't murder him. Possibly. You could have gotten access to some more spirits that way. But I only got access to two because I only did like the first phase or two of his uh, quest line. Alright, I'm imagining this up here is open now. Right? Look at me getting things done. Yes, it is open. Okay, I'm not sure if we can walk the dark path to the Empyrean that Ronnie did, but... Um... We can try. Why is it always not here? Alright, Ronnie. I am your champion. I still feel like I kind of stole Blythe's thunder. A little bit. Can I, like, see on the map? Like, maybe if I go back to the Mistwoods. Are you just back over here? Doesn't seem to be the case. I should go check in with Kenneth again. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure where Blythe would have went. If he's even still around. I would like to think he's around somewhere. <clears throat> he was such a cool character. <gasps> Snow Witch hat, robes, and skirt! Oh shit, we got Ronnie's clothes. Okay. Um, Or possibly Rena's? Which is pointed hat, frigid and frozen through, of a style associated with practitioners of heretical sorcery. Strengthens cold sorcery. Once worn by the snowy crone who the young Ronnie encountered deep in the woods. She was a witch and well versed in cold sorceries. It is said that the doll that houses Ronnie's soul was modeled after her. That old witch was Ronnie's secret mentor. So yeah, the soul that houses Ronnie's soul, soul was modeled after her. We have seen that she's like, is a puppet. Or part of her as a puppet. Well, I like your clothes. Sw uh, young, uh, Kern. Yeah. And, okay. And then we got the skirt, too. But it probably doesn't say anything different. Try behind and then seek up. Yeah. Well, it's neat that we got your outfit. It's a pretty good fit, to be fair. Bravery required ahead. What, is this a difficult... Location? Am I going straight into a boss fight? I don't know. Let's find out. I hope Ronnie's not going to be pissed off that I'm following her, because I don't really want to fight her. Ansel River, Maine. <gasps> this place! Oh my god! Okay, we made it over here. Would you look at this? Wow. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we made it out. Awesome. I've been trying to figure out how to get to this place for a while. M excuse me. A miniature Ronnie? What? The hell am I supposed to do with that? Doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. Doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Okay, wow. We just found a figurine for all of the, uh, all of the Ronnie stands here. An in-game figurine for you to put on your shelf. We can we can go back to um, uh, the table where we have all of our waifu and husbando and such figurines and uh, put you up there. You know? Okay, that looks like a big something. Dragon, possibly? Let's check out the enemies here, see how spooky they are. Okay, you're... These guys, first and foremost, so... <sighs> that appears to be... Oh, that's just one of those things. How much damage do I do to you? Ooh, I can actually hit you. Oh, you're the Oracle Bubble people. Yeah, okay, so you're resistant. You're pretty resistant to my weapon, but I can still hit you. Okay, 553 runes for that. Not the most, but still a pretty good amount. The main thing with you guys is I'm never going to break your poise or anything. Boom, boom, boom. Luckily, you're super, super slow. Try close quarters battle, therefore time for stealth. Okay, so yeah, I need to murder this thing. So how am I going to get over there? Ool Palace Ruins. 
I could just cheese it with my bow again. Wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. Uh-huh. But I'll try to get close. If it spots me or something, I'll give up and just shoot it with my bow. But we'll try to get close and see if we can take it out. Yeah, well, we finally made it this place. Luckily, it doesn't look like it's too big. It was just bothering me that I couldn't get here earlier. Oh, that thing's totally going to see me if I walk up there and attack you. Uh... You see nothing. Uh... Ranged battle required ahead. Is it ranged battle required ahead, or should I just run up on it and attack it? Let's see, where else could I possibly get here? Ooh, those are Ghost Glove Wart 6. Sixes. Do you see me? Okay, you see me. Alright, let's move in. Can you hit me from there? No. Uh-huh. You like that in your eyeball? Owie. Okay, you don't do that much damage. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, this is way easier. Uh-huh, what are you doing? Throwing the rocks at me? That's fine. I can block those. Uh. Ooh, I knocked you down. Or, not, not knocked you down, but I broke your, your poise or whatever. Okay, that just always breaks your poise. Cool. Okay, that's a much easier way of killing you. <clears throat> now I just gotta deal with- Ooh, Somber 7. You'll love to see it. Okay. Well, that was very worth it. Coming down here was a great call. Okay, can we not and say we did? You with your weird plush jewels on your back. Bang. Alright, and we can continue down that way, but let's go see what's over here first and foremost. Uh, hi. Seven? Okay, wow, that's a lot of you, actually. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just run away. Like a coward. The coward's way out may be the best way out here. Now that I've killed that thing, uh, this is going to be a lot easier. Boom. Golden Rune 7. You're not worth my time. Alright, get me over here. They're still aggroed on me over there. Be wary of right. Yep, you got a bola that you're still trying to hit me with. Are you a death flower? Like, are you specifically one that causes death? You look like you would be. Stun sword key. Alright, I'm cool with that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Got a little bit greedy there. But it's fine. Uh-huh. You're very annoying, you know that? Die for me. I'm gonna acquire this material while you're laying on the ground like a doofus. There we go. Okay, flowers pissed. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shot your artillery fire at me. Just let me grab this and I'll be on my way. Clayman ashes. That's what they are. They're Clayman. Well, you see, in Clayman's terms. Uh, let's go over here. I just want to get away from combat so I can read the description of that really quickly. There's an item I missed over here as well. Alright, Smithing Stone 4. I think I'm good right here. Let's uh, go ahead and look at that. Um, Clayman. They were tanky, but I don't think I'm going to like anything more than Mimic at this point. Where were you? Uh, yeah, Page, Solar Fortune. Here they are. Let's do Clayman. Bo uh, bowed with age. Or bowed this with age. These spirits are sluggish but hard to stagger. 
Warped remains of priests who search for revelation in the service of the ancient dynasty. They employ two sorceries that produce smaller and larger bubbles. Cool. Alright, so now we can continue down this way. And I can go check out what this place has to offer me. And EG said this was taking me to the Empyrean, which sounds neat. Being able to go over here. Owie. Wow, you actually hit me with that, huh? Interesting. Luckily, you guys are like super, super slow, so I don't really have to worry about you that much. Uh, give me that formic rock, though. Time for water slide. I'm ready. Ambush ahead. Yeah, I see him. Oh, we're back to the ants. Trap ahead, up. Yeah, I see him. Bop. Come here, you. Okay, what does that do? Hit me. Boom. There we are. Ooh, stimulating boluses. Are you gonna drop? Thank you. Okay, we're good. Dead. Okay, you got stimulating boluses here, which makes me think I'm gonna be falling asleep at some point. Maybe that's what they try to inflict on me, is sleep. Be wary of ladder and in grace ahead. It said try luring out as well. You specifically have wings. That is different. Rump ahead. Ah, uh, bug. Yeah. People that don't like bugs, this is probably a uh, pretty difficult area to get through. Uh-huh. Okay, you're annoyingly in the air. Boom, boom. There we go. Hello. Um, can I murder you? If you don't mind? I mean, if you mind, don't worry about it, but... Excuse me, do you have like a weird mushroom head? What is this? Weird mushroom head. Ant. Are you like a warrior type? The other one was like a flyer. You're like the warrior type ant. The soldiers. Interesting. Well, they're dead now. Uh, golden rune 10. Shield grease. Okay, yeah, and that takes me down there, but I want to go check this path out first. Try attacking, seek back. Ooh, it is dark in here. I want to go home. Yeah, see, there's one of the people that don't like bugs. I arm him in the head, except be wary of sniper. Okay, you're wearing the gear. First off, not here. In short, seek grace. You don't want me to go here. You want me to find a grace first. What? Try magic. Be wary of right. Death ahead. Did you just mean kill this person? Yeah, because I've already taken that thing out. We're good. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, well, that's an interesting thing you just did. I gotta say, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so I, I didn't need to be scared of this area because I've already taken that thing out. That thing is dead. So we are good. Um, Treasure chest ahead and then jumping required ahead. Can I... <clears throat> the, the prompt showed up, but I don't think I can get it from here, actually. Um, I don't want to do that yet. Let's go, let's go grab the grace first, actually. Like those people said. That way when I fall, I can just teleport back over here. I didn't know there was going to be an item. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is just a cliff, right? Oh boy. Give me all the formic rock. God, these things got through some serious eating. Look at all these big rib cages and stuff. Uh, grace ahead. Behold joy. You're pointing that way. Okay. Where'd everybody get the mad pumpkin hat from? Do I have that? I want that. Liar ahead. Shortcut ahead. Uh-huh. Liar ahead. 
Yeah, everybody's saying all of you are liars. All right, let's uh, get in here. Uh huh. Noxtella. Yeah, Nakrom and Noxtella. They were two different uh, cities. Okay, and wait, this boss was called Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. Okay, so we've made it to Noxtella, the city. Cool. Oh, I was gonna take this ladder down, but there's not much reason to, huh? I thought it maybe led to an item or something, but we can't just drop down here and get this. Okay, we got... We, we Excuse me, we have ant riders? Um, interesting. God, the aesthetic of, like, the sparkly stones on the ceiling is so damn pretty. I love it. Oh, why did I rest? Oh, I'm a fool. Alright, we're back over here. I I think I see how to get to this item. Let's see. Try jumping. Yeah, so... This is specifically not a place we, were, we could get to before. Right? Now that I'm up here, I can go up there and there's a treasure chest. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I still don't know how to get to that item up there. Oh, right here. This would be how. Okay. Neato, neato, neato. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want it. Somber Smithing Stone 6. Good to have. I'm surprised that, like, rune arcs get the purple glow and those don't. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Rune arcs have had, like, barely an impact on my playthrough. Ah, what you got? Wing of Astel. Alright, what does that do? Or Wing of Estelle? Um, where was it? Uh, it looked like a... Yeah, one of these. Magic, scales with int. A sword fashioned from a delicate wing suffused with the magic of the stars. A strong attack unleashes a wave of enchanted light. Crafted from a relic of the natural born of the void, who is said to have assailed the eternal city, Nuxkill Nebula. Imbue the natural born's wings with magic to send forth a dark cloud of stars that lingers briefly before exploding. Well, it sounds cool. Let's see what that R1 looks like, why don't we? Does it take... Okay, you can just spam this, possibly? Is that just an infinite ranged attack? I think it is. And there's not weapon durability in the game, so... Yeah, I think that's just an infinite ranged attack that you can spam. Interesting. Usually, um, things like this in previous games required, like, you know, either FP or they used weapon durability. But this just seems like it's free. Neat. It's probably not very strong if that is the case, but if you wanted to have a build where you used a weapon like that, and, um... Uh, what's the word? If you wanted to have a build where you used a weapon like that, and, uh, could just use all ranged attacks, I, I guess you could. Um, so I wanted to go back to the Table of Lost Grace, because we can upgrade Moonvale. And, uh, that is definitely, definitely something that needs to happen. Okay, so let's go hit this up. Maybe I can go ask Gideon about, um, uh, Celibus being dead now. Well, I, took you no matter it, I, I haven't really had a lot of, uh, updates with you. you kind of just been here, hanging out. Uh, alright, so we'll get a bunch more damage off of this upgrade. Yeah, our scaling is going from C to B. Which is cool as well. The guard boost goes up weirdly. So wait, does upgrading actually increase the guard boost of your shields? Because then maybe maybe I will upgrade my shield. It didn't on the first one, so I assumed it, it just didn't. Well, I don't have enough ones, so yeah, it doesn't look like that did anything. It just increased the damage. Maybe you can increase the guard boost a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy. Now that I actually have FP to work with, um, it'll be nice to kind of experiment with some weapon skills. Possibly some of the cool ones on the shield, like barricade and stuff. I don't know, it seems like an idea. I wish Blythe was hanging out here. I want my friend back. My big, my big wolf, my big wolf guts. 
Gideon, you know what you did. Journey to the capital. The two you okay, made. wow, you're not even gonna talk about it, huh? Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> you don't even care. You're like, yeah, I killed a person, so what? Uh, alright. Back over here. To be fair, though, um, Celavus was a giant, giant dick. So... And the s small amount of interactions I had with him, he was he was not pleasant to be around. Uh, hello, Ant Rider. Uh huh. Okay. None of this, please. Let me sip really quickly. Uh huh. Yeah, you're quite annoying. But I can break your poise as long as I get the first hit. Alright, cool. That enemy is down. There appears to be a fog gate up there. I'm imagining I want to explore a lot of this place before advancing, though. Can I even go over here? That is just a pit. Okay, so this area is smaller than I thought. That's probably a boss fight over there. I wish I remembered all the details about Nakrom and Noxtella. I'm guessing they're both just, you know, homes of the Nox. Maybe I can get some information off of you, uh, dorks, as well. What kind of weird mace are you using? Interesting. Smithing Stone 6. Hello. What? Did you kick? What? Did you, like, backdash and hurt me? Ow. What was that? You like did a backdash and it actually damaged me. Ooh. Okay, that's an interesting mace. Uh huh. Okay, you're you're fast. Yeah. I am actually a little bit intimidated by you. Come on. Okay, never mind. That was a massive whiff on your part. Dead. Cool. Nox bracelets. Okay, that's actually what I wanted because this will hopefully give me some lore about you guys. Um. Uh, Nox bracelets. There we go. Long ago, the Nox invoked the ire of the Greater Will and were banished. Yeah. Okay. So this is just the same thing. So these are just two different Nox cities. We have Noxtella and um. Shit, I'm forgetting what the name of the other one was now. Uh... Um... Back over here. Uh... Night Sacred Ground, dammit. It doesn't actually tell me. It was- it was no Nokrum. There we go. So, Nokron and Noxtella are the two Nox cities that we are working with. Cool. Uh, item ahead. Likely item. Okay. All the way down here, I'm guessing. God, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, though. The fact that I can see the water kind of sets off my thalassophobia just a teensy bit. Because this cavern, specifically looking at something like this... I got way too close to that edge. Specifically looking at something like this, it looks like it could be an environment in Subnautica. And it's specifically because I can't see very far and I can just see the outlines of things. That is a lot of where my thalassophobia is rooted. I am terrified of that. Like, if you just got rid of my player character right now and gave me this screenshot, I would say this was an area in Subnautica and it would give me the willies massively. Mostly because it looks like a few areas in Subnautica. There's like a crystal area that looks pretty similar to this in a lot of ways. Ugh. Creeps me out, man. Creeps me out. Big Thalassophobia hours. Okay, so... We took you guys out. I can, of course, go up the staircase and everything, but I want to explore everything on the ground floor here first. Just to see what we're working with. Okay, another one of you. Would like to avoid you if I could, but there is a thingy down there, so that might not be possible. Hey, dork. Okay, that was pretty good damage, actually. What are you doing? Okay. Just one of those. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That, 
was almost death. Whoop. Ah. Annoying. Okay, there goes your ant. I gotta say, though, gotta give you props for using an ant mount. That is, that is very cool. That is very cool. Ants are crazy efficient for what they can do with their bodies. So the idea of there being an actual ant that you could train to to mount in an ant that is that big is horrifying. Because they can pick up, like, crazy uh, amounts of their weight. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we got you dorks hanging out here again. You're specifically electrified ones, which I don't like. I don't like that you're electrified. Okay, I was thinking... That's not what I expected. Okay, I was thinking when I hit them, if they were, you know, all electrified, they would hurt me. <laughs> it seems like it might spread um, to all the water and everything. Okay. Some poison snails that we gotta take care of. Uh-huh. Trying not to get poisoned here if I can help it. Just because it would make my life a little bit easier. Uh-huh. Luckily, they're, you know, they're snails, so they're pretty slow. Guy, you. Can get away from there. Alright, we are not getting a small amount of souls from this area. We are specifically getting a fair few, so that's good. I see you all up there, you idiots. Come here. Was there even a reason in coming down here? Don't even know that there was. Is there even anything here? The Wary of Slug, by the way, Trio. Wow, yeah. They're, they put nothing down here, it's just a trap. How rude of you, FromSoft. Wasting my damn time. Alright, uh, more of you dorks to kill. We missed the item back over here. Smithing stone six. Hello. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not going to be doing that. Okay, let's just uh, go over here, why don't we? How about we hit you, Al. There we go, and you'll electrify all the water, right? Uh, get out of here. Okay, maybe leaving all of you alive was a bad call. Uh-huh. It doesn't seem like it actually hurt anybody chilling in the water. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping it would. Okay, no, it did. Never mind. Screw me. I lied, and I should feel bad. Uh-huh. Let's heal. Okay, you're backing up. Uh-huh. I missed. There we go. Yeah. Get out of there. Ooh. Stand on the rock. <laughs> yep. Big old chain reaction. There we go. We are fine. You guys remind me of Phalanx. From uh, Demon Souls. Ghost Glove Wart 8. Big glo Ghost Glove Warts. Uh-huh. Get out of there. Also, the um, soldiers from the uh, painted world of Ariamis in Dark Souls remind me of that, too. Just little blob creatures that move around very blob-like and do blob things. Ooh. Hello. I like the look of that. Up. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. You're trying to lure me in. I don't like that you're trying to do that. Uh-huh. Yep, there they come. Oh, get out of there. Bombs away. This is a good source of uh, runes. Jeez. And another somber smithing stone 7. Okay, well, I definitely seem to be in the right level range for this zone. That is for sure. Because I'm getting a pretty damn good amount of runes here. I do like that there is a seed over there. Um, hi, I need you to die. Uh, get out of the water though. 
Alright. There we go. That should have blown up all the other ones. No? It didn't spread correctly. Get me out of here. Okay, now we can go up here and kill you jerks that were giving me a bit of trouble. You look like you actually have, like, shields. Funnily enough. Hello. Yeah. Likely taking all in at once, yeah. Alright. Yeah, we get a pretty good amount of runes for this place. I'm happy with my rune acquisition here. It is nice. We have more ants over here. They have different butts? Am I crazy? Is there gonna be something different about them because they have different butts? Probably. Likely, yes. There we are. Die for me. We added the water. Yeah, see, they give me 445 apiece, and those guys are super, super easy to kill. Um. Hiya! There we go. Bang, 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 bang. There we go. Oof. Yeah, we swimming in the runes now. Was there no reason for me to do this besides just a bunch of formic rock? Uh, you dropped something. Formic rock? Of course. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh, okay, over here. Here's my reward. Stone sword key. No item ahead, dead end ahead. Okay, I will trust you two. Random messages. I'm starting to think maybe I should head back to that area back there, because I thought it would lead to this thing and be a whole big zone, but... Maybe what I'm going down right now is actually the main path. <gasps> oh, it's not what I think. I was thinking it was this. I was thinking it was that. I was like, have we made it? No. No, I don't think we have. But yeah, this area is definitely more scaled to my level, but um, it also doesn't feel like crazy difficult or anything, which I like. Because Altus could be a little bit hard at times at my current level. That was just where I fought the... yeah. Okay. How do I get up there, though? Do I have to... Let's see, there's that. Oh, okay, so I probably get across from over there to get to that. Okay, so what's this... what's with this little tower, then? There's quite a few things guarding it, which makes me think it's important. Let's go up here and take this dork out first. Hey, you! Hey, uh, you with the ant! Uh-huh. Boom. Okay, you poised through that. Get off of that. Quit that. There we go. That'll make this whole ordeal a little bit easier. Slashy, 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 slashy. Cool. Alright, yeah, we've been down there, we've been down there, we've done all this. Okay, cool. There's the giant chair that I saw at the Noxtella fight. This area didn't look like it was going to be big at all, but it's actually kind of large. Um... Alright, where do you go? Just... Oh god, we're going- oh gods, we're going deeper. Oh, I thought this was going to go up. I guess I should have known it wasn't going to go up because the tower wasn't leading up. I mean, there's a grace. I'll light it. Where in the nine hells are we now? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that there because I do not want to rest and respawn things. Where is this? Okay, it says we're... Okay, yeah, this is that area I couldn't get to. Okay, okay, I see. This could potentially lead to a new area. Well, take me back up here. I can't believe how much of a de- I thought this was gonna be like- I don't know, I thought it would be a full-fledged zone, but I kinda thought we'd be done after Nokrom. But then there's this whole thing following up over here with Ronnie, and I still have the inverted statue that we need to go into the tower to take care of. Like, there's a whole bunch of junk going on here. 
Hello. Uh-huh. There you don't. Down. Yeah, that jump attack's quite strong. I really, really like jump attack. If I got another talisman slot, I would consider, like, using the uh, enhanced jump attack thing. I could have rested at the grace and leveled up, because I am carrying around quite a bit of change in my pocket right now, but... Um, I want to finish this area off first. Alright, get out of there. I think that'll kill you. No, it didn't. It didn't spread right. Okay, whatever. There's just a ton of you hanging out here. You know that, right? Yep. Cool. Gimme, gimme. Well, we'll be able to uh, upgrade our Mimic tier quite a bit off of this area. Two of you. Are you even hiding an item? It does look like you're guarding something. I'm not excited about this. Let's go take this stuff out first and then I'll deal with you. Uh, hi. Out of there. There we go. Exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't want you to get away. What were you? Were you just... I think you just refilled one of my flasks. I thought you were a more important one. I thought I had saw a, like, one that was actually used for just some celestial do. I thought I saw one that was, like, more glowing silver. Which is usually, like, um, you know, some upgrade materials or, uh, an ash. Can I just draw one of you, please? Nope. I draw both of you. I draw one, I draw both. Okay, get out of there. Oh my god, you held back for so long. God. Um... Can I, like, get up top and do a drop attack on you guys? FromSoft definitely makes some animations play out, like, way longer than they have any business doing just to kind of trip players up in this. Which, I guess it some point you have to do that when people get too used to the combat. Like, you, you gotta do it to preserve the difficulty a little bit. But man, screw you, uh, uh, new players and stuff. And I mean, yeah, I guess that's the whole point. It screws over new and, uh, old players <laughs> when enemies pause for so damn long. All right, what was this over here? Yeah, I saw a little baby path behind you. Oh, come on. Behold bad luck. Why did they put so many of these here? Waste of time areas. Jeez. Okay, well, we've completely cleared this place out. Man, I was expecting to get to the inverted tower today. I didn't know this was going to take this long. I thought this was gonna be a short little adventure. But it has not been short. Okay, let's get up there, I suppose. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, this area looks so small when I was looking at it. Jeez. Whatever. We're doing it. And we unlocked a new area to check out as well, which is probably important. It seems like it leads kind of back towards, uh, what is that? Oh, Golden Centipede. Um, it seems like it leads back towards, uh, Stormvale and stuff. Which is, uh, interesting to say the least. That guy was still alive, but didn't notice me, so whatever, they get to live. Hey! I just hit him, just to be funny. Alright, let's go. Whoop. You're not happy with me hitting you just to be funny. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's this path, and then there's another one over there. Which one do I want to go up? Is this like... Okay, this is forward progress. We want to go back to this one then. This one for sure. A lot of good upgrade materials here though. I'm quite happy with this. I have upgraded Moonvale again and uh, 
Yeah, I feel like it was time for Moonvale to get an upgrade. I think even before I continue on to the capital, we may check out um, the Volcano Manor, because I got pretty close to beating that Falling Star Beast when I went there last time, so I like to think now I could probably trounce it. Whatever you were about to do, no. Bang, bang, bang. Don't know what you were about to do. It looked like some perfumer stuff. And I don't like that. Or rather, I don't like the sound of it. Mm-hmm. Butterflies. Why, why am I collecting these? I should really look at what crafting recipes those are used for. It might be some of, like, the higher-level pots. Maybe the sleep pots? This seems like a sleepy area. Uh-huh. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. I got you back into a corner now. I do know that your legion of slimes are on their way, though. I'm gonna have to clear this place out. Wow, is this the house in, um... What's it called? Uh, you know, the house in, uh... God, I, I keep wanting to say Kakariko. The forest that Link starts in, in Ocarina of Time. The one that everybody that does uh, Ocarina of Time randomizers goes to first because there's like five chests in there. That's what this reminds me of. Ant's Skull Plate. Interesting. Interesting. Causes poison buildup. 100%... Wow, it's actually a pretty damn good shield. Huge head of one of the giant ants which inhabit the two underground rivers, used without modification as a shield. Excels at repelling enemy attacks. Giant ants are venomous creatures, granting a bonus, a boost to immunity when wielding this shield. Brace behind shield before using body weight to ram foes while maintaining guarding stance. Weaker enemies will be shoved backwards and can even be staggered. Interesting shield. Not one I think I would use, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Oh, you can't even open most of these. This was just for the, the skull. Okay. I don't think I've seen anybody walking around with that shield. I mean, it only applies basic poison, so it its attack wouldn't even be worth it. And besides that, it's kind of just a big shield. There's probably better ones you can get. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Chain reaction, go. Uh, does it really want me to jump on this to get these? I think it really does. How rude of it. Because, yeah. Uh, okay. All for some fan daggers, man. Just one. Alright. What do we got up here? This place is way bigger than I gave it credit for. This whole game is way bigger than I gave it credit for. Item ahead. God, you guys really are just phalanxes. I'm fairly sure this is even the same animations that they do. With, like, holding the shield in front of them and poking forward like that. There's definitely a lot of asset reuse in this from the other Souls games, I feel. Just that. 75k Souls. Oh, boy. In other games, you guys were weak to uh, fire, so I'm wondering if that's still the case here. I might have just been able to throw a fire pot at you and take out all of you. Didn't expect merchants. Oh, you're t talking about the messengers from uh, Bloodborne, I believe. That's funny. Uh, Ghost Glovewort Pickers Bell Bearing 2. Alright, we got more of that. I noticed I could fall down over here. Seek necessary item. Item ahead. Oh, this wasn't a fall. Oh, I thought it was a fall, but it's just a puddle. It looked like it was a hole in the ground. Liar ahead. Item ahead. That person's not lying. There is an item right here. You doofus. Maybe there's somebody that said, like, try jumping or something. Archer ashes. Uh, there you are. Spirit of archers who belong to the Fallen Hawks, a band of soldiers that once explored the Eternal City. Their arrows are imbued with a cold ghost flame. Though their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron, firing a hail of arrows in unison at the sound of a war cry. I like how it says THE Eternal City, but we've seen that there's two. There's Nakron and Noxtella. So are they just like... I don't think they connect in any way, right? 
so it is two separate cities. I mean, if they connected, they would probably just call it one, right? How did you die? Is that how you died? Possibly. Bye-bye. Hi? Okay, I'm imagining I want to get in here. Yeah. You tried. That was a cheekily hidden little room. It was kind of hard to see that you could even go in here. Okay, nothing there. Let's open. I like these that I have to like push open like this. I don't know, there's something pleasing about it. Another seven. I need an eight, but they're not giving it to me because they don't want me to be over leveled. Golden Rune 10. Boy, am I gonna am I gonna be over leveled though? Specifically in regards to levels for the next few areas I go to after exploring this place. I'm getting so many runes. But my weapon won't be over leveled. Because they they drip feed you that stuff to make sure that uh you don't get too ahead of the curve. Oh god, it's the stupid ball. I am running low on sword, uh, stone sword keys. I almost said sword stone keys. Hello. Oh god. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't know the stupid message was still up. I was wondering why I wasn't like able to lock on or anything. Dumb message. I know the stone sword key was lost with use. Okay, they're kind of scary. Eh, eh. Okay, they dodge. Through the- You and your stupid horse shit. About tired of you, from soft. Uh, oh my god, the ball is here. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should uh, let the ball handle you guys, if the ball will work with me. There we go. Oh my god, you dodged. Okay. Huh. Huh. Ball, please. You're supposed to be on my side. Ow! Okay, just roll. Just roll. Just dodge them and get out of here, quite honestly. Let the let the ball deal with them. Let's go over here. The ball will have difficulty maneuvering in here. Okay, give me item. Yeah, there we go. Search treasure, Night Maiden, and Sword Stress Puppets. Cool. Okay, you solo, I think I can deal with. It's when there's two of you that you're pretty annoying. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Move over here. Yeah, is that it? I think that was it. Okay, cool. You're hanging out back there now. Alright, am I gonna have to kill you? There we are. Alright, um... It was specifically a puppet down here. An old puppet crafted in the Eternal City used to summon the spirits of a Night Maiden and a Swordstress. These sisters, members of a cold-blooded race who wield flowing weapons, became puppets of their own... ...volition. Cold-blooded race. Hey, Ball. You keep doing you, Ball. I'm out of here, though. If I move fast enough, you won't be able to keep up with me. Golden rune. Yeah, 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 this door's open right here. You just bumped into something. You big dummy. Utility ahead, all the more, why is it always research? Okay. Get me in here. Anything? I see nothing on the ceiling. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, great. Uh-huh. Luckily, I can block it. it. Makes this whole thing a lot easier. Owie. Didn't block that one, though. Um... I can't see anything. I'm inside of its hitbox. If I hadn't killed the thing, I was dead there. Larval tier. Cool. As if I don't already have a billion of those. Legendary item, though. Great ghost glove wart. Okay, so we can upgrade two to max level now, if I so if I so please. 
Well, this is the place you want to come if you want to upgrade your spirit. Jeez. Not only does it have a really good spirit in it, in the form of the, uh... Whatchamacallit, the Mimic. Um, it also has a ton of the upgrade materials. Uh, Golden Rune Tin. We're doing it, we're doing it. I'm trying to hold on to these 80,000 souls without losing them. The game really, really wants me to lose them, though. No item ahead. What was in here? Am I gonna get dropped in here with another ball? Or it's just you dorks. Uh-huh. Okay. You're specifically not exploding all over each other. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, how many of them are there? Runes galore. Oh my god, I should have popped one of the... Thing. Oh. Oh, they're dropping from that. Is this a farm spot? What is going on here? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, there are so many of these. Uh-huh. Okay. Heal. Uh-huh. Owie. I shouldn't have rolled, I should have, uh... Okay, get me out of here, please. Alright. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. I'm so boned. Oh, boy. Out of here, please. My cats are scratching the couch. Now is not the time to be doing that. Dumb baby. He's, he's tripping out, currently. And I don't have the time to discipline him. Okay. Okay. Larval tier. We got more materials to acquire. There's a bunch of shit going on in there. I just got a ton of souls from that. Another larval tier. Oh my god. I did not comprehend how much money I was about to get. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's some, uh... This was a good investment. I think the, the foul foot was a good call. I'm holding on to so many of those things, so... Oh boy. Okay, and that leads somewhere. God, this area is so big. I really need to start ending this episode. Yep. My cat's still freaking out. You're not supposed to scratch the couch, you couch, you dummy. He's like, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just kitty tripping. So he's like, clawing the couch and running around. No item ahead. What about over here? Because I did want to check this path. Item ahead. You don't have the right. Smithing stone six. Good stuff. Okay. Well, that was spooky, and there's quite. Uh, there, like, I was stuck between a rock and a hard place there, between that wall and that giant, you know, mimic boulder. That was very, very spooky. <laughs> Being trapped in that place in particular, jeez. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I grabbed that. Did I open it and just turn around? <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, there we go, we got another Smithing Stone 7. I saw it this time, so it's fine. I hear... There you are. I was like, I hear you, but where are you at? Uh-uh. None of that, please. Nope. 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 I expected a ball to come rolling after me. Stone six. Okay. This is probably a boss fight, right? This is likely boss fight. Because, try defeating Bone by one and then be wary of Trio. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm gonna summon my own buddy. If you don't mind. Alright. Oh, I thought this was actually a boss fight? Is it not? Boom. Boom, boom. Uh. God, you're so annoying. Stop. 
Stop swinging so much. Jump away. How dare you die. There we go. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> that was murder. Okay, this 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 mimic is crazy, man. The fact that it can build up the bleed meter too is just too good. Good luck. Oh, did I summon my mimic at the wrong time? I think I did. I think I summoned it for this room of dorks and not the boss fight. That's gonna suck if so. Because that message said good luck. Moon of Noxtella. Okay, what is that? Increases memory slots. Like I need it. Legendary talisman is the treasure of Noxtella, the eternal city. Increases memory slots. This talisman represents the lost black moon. The moon of Noxtella was the guide of countless stars. Yeah, like I need it. Jeez. Uh, I really hope this isn't a boss fight I'm about to walk into. Just in case it is... Let's take this off. And put on this. Because I'm, I'm rocking 99,000 runes, man. I'm not losing this shit. Okay, what, what is this doing? Where am I at currently? We're over here. Is this taking me back down or up? Down, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. Whew. Well then. Wait, have we just looped around? Is that all I did? Oh no, we're over here! Yes! Still no horse. Yeah, I know, it sucks that you can't be on Torrent here. Okay, so yeah, finally we made our way back around to this. The golden seed that I saw in the distance. So can I get up there? It looks like an area I should be able to access, but... I don't know if the game is gonna let me. God, it's dark back here. Yeah, I didn't think this was intended as soon as I started running down it. So, can, can I seriously not get up there? It looks like an area I would be able to access. No item ahead. Are you also going to say no item ahead? Butterfly ahead? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on up here. It was for that seed and that seems to be it. So... Yeah, I think we've been everywhere then and we probably just go to the waterfall basin and then we can continue in this area from there. Doesn't appear to have been a boss fight here, weirdly. But boy, do I have some money to spend. Oh boy, do I have some money to spend. If I get probably a few thousand more, we have 13 of these. Oh my God. Give me three. I think that'll be enough. Oh, that'll be, that'll be more than enough, I think. Oh my god, okay. Um, actually don't think that'll be enough. Yeah, no, just barely no. Oh wait, no, it, it, it is. Never mind, I'm stupid. Uh, okay, so we have intelligence to... Ooh, wait. Upping int even more increases my damage by a lot. Two? Yeah, th well, three and then two. So that would be five extra damage I'd be doing there. Whereas Dex, I don't get nearly as much out of. Okay. Well, this makes most of my damage come from magic, mind you. But this is still a good thing to do, I think. I could do more endurance so we could wear heavier armor and stuff and have more stamina. Unfortunately, I'm only getting one stamina from upping this again. We'll put endurance to 22 and grab int to 41. All right. Cool. We are now level 98. We are getting up there, I would say. Cool. Can I put anything heavier on? Can we get rid of the royal remains? We can. We can wear these instead. Crucible Greaves. Cool. Increases my poise quite a bit. Finally retiring the royal remains things. All right, well, um, we're not quite at the time I would want here. 
I did cut a few things out earlier. Is there anything else we could take care of really quickly? Um, I, I think this would take too long. I think that I think I want to do that next time, but I think it would take too long right now. Uh, ooh, that's something we can do. Um, let's go back to the table, and we can uh, upgrade our mimic. I have the runes for it. Oh, all right. I'd say that's a pretty that was a pretty good episode. We got a big area taken care of there. Made a good amount of progress. Didn't miss any obnoxiously obvious pillars this time. You know, the normal stuff. I am here for spirit tuning. Uh, yeah. So Ghost Glove Ward seven, and I did get an eight as well, so I can level you up again. We just need to hop some more runes here. Let's just use all of our baby ones. Boom. 4,000. I might have another level up in me, honestly. Oh, come on. Like 30 runes away. You know what? You know what? Can, can I sell to you? I can, right? Yes. Okay, just... Let's see. Can we get a... Uh, this, I think, might be a level. Uh-huh. And... Okay, that will be 35,000. We don't need that much. I think 20,000. Uh, one more. Because we gotta, we gotta upgrade our tier two. I might actually need a little bit more after this to get another... Yeah, I definitely need... Oh my god, wait, again? Oh yeah, we did get a 9, didn't we? Okay, and oh my god. Yes, because I have a great Ghost Glove War. We can just max it out now. Oh shit. Okay, I have a fully leveled spirit. What? Oh god, this soon? This feels soon, right? I only have enough for uh, 10,000 more so I can't get another level up but our mimic is maxed out I don't even have a maxed out weapon yet but I got a maxed out spirit okay okay Noxtella was good Noxtella was very very good for me cool yeah we're definitely wiping a lot of things off the map here I think next time we'll probably take on this um, we may go back to Kaled because I remember this area this last little bit here was kind of too high level for me, but I don't think that will be the case anymore. We could also run over to Celia Hideaway and uh, take care of those stupid doofuses, I think, now. In fact, why don't we go over here and just level up our uh, our flail some more while I got the runes kicking around. Because I'm going to need that for that boss fight. Uh, but we should be able to take them now. I, I, I would hope so. So, yep, just level it up as much as I can here. There we go. Cool. Keen Knight Rider Flail plus 19. 208 plus 128 damage. Scales A with Dexterity now. It would do a lot more damage if I had more points in Dex, but what can you do? I am an intelligence boy, after all. Alright, but yeah, I think we'll next time take care of the Flippy Tower... We'll take care of this and whatever this is. Um, see all of this. Maybe go over here and take out Garonk if Garonk is still pissed off at me. I don't know how Garonk got pissed off at me in the first place, but whatever. But yeah, we can we can take care of those things next time, I think. Um, yeah, it just seems like a good call to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring, and I'll see you next time for some more.